Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC and we are finishing things up. So uh, tomorrow will be the last video for the 30 days of preparedness, aka the month of September, which is National Preparedness Month. Now, uh, if this is your first time watching, uh, no big deal. You don't have to watch any of this in any particular order. But I went through and made a mini-series, as uh, most of you are probably well aware, that uh, you know a lot of the prepping channels go through and make a video every single day. And uh, I got the idea from my uh, five-year-old little rural who gave me the uh, fun way of doing this when we use the ABCs. Now, uh, yes, uh, there's not 30 day or 30 letters in the alphabet, so I had to come up, uh, you know, with a few extras. And so here we go. Um, this one, if you looked at the thumbnail, is the asterisk. Now, if you're kind of scratching your noggin, going, "What is rural going to talk about that has to do with this?" Well, here we go. Uh, and, and just FYI, this might be a little bit shorter of a video. I'm running a little bit behind on time today, but let's see how this goes. I'm going to do this as what you would use an asterisk for. So when you say something and you put that little asterisk there, first thing I'm going to kind of point towards is the exception to the rule. Okay. Now, when we do things like uh, you should ha have medical training, asterisk. Maybe, you know, you have a, a real bad thing about um, the sight of blood or, you know, uh, really bad trauma, things like that. Maybe you have a really weak stomach. Um, maybe <laughs> you need to surround yourself. You know, for most people, when you go out and you say things like this and you go, hey, every single prepper needs to have uh, an extensive, you know, medical training. And while I would somewhat agree with that, this is where that asterisk comes in of, mm, it's not for everybody, right? Um, and that's just the way it is. It's the same thing. Everybody needs to learn how to uh, hunt and, and fish and trap and things like that because you're going to have to have protein in the meat source. Some people, again, have that queasy stomach that the sight of trying to open up some sort of an animal, it's just, it's not going to happen, okay? It's its probably going to make them sick and make uh, the situation worse. And so, again, uh, is it a good idea for preppers to learn how to um, go ahead and dress and, and uh, be able to process game? Yeah, I, I, I fully stand behind that asterisk if you are capable of doing so. Um, and to kind of switch into this, there's going to be people down in the comment section going, well, no, uh, you know, when it comes down to life or death, when it's SHTF situation, uh, you're just going to have to get over it. Okay. And again, I can somewhat agree with that. Um, you know, it's going to come up to a, a kind of a mentality, a person's mental state. How hungry are you? Right. Um, can you get over that? Can you do something about it? Uh, but again, that that's a, a personal thing. Some people just can't. Some people pass out at the sight of blood. And, uh, you know, when you start getting into these topics that are, for whatever reason, controversial, this brings up another asterisk of sometimes you have to pick your battles and sometimes you just have to take the loss. Sometimes you have to let things slide. Uh, when we get into an SHTF situation, you don't want to have to be confrontational and, and, you know, be almost like a bully or, or stand your ground at every single little everything. Right. Um, and I don't think this is one of the things that a lot of people prepare for is, uh, you and your family, or maybe just you, uh, you, you're sitting where you live possibly maybe at work right now, but you know, you, you're at home and, you have uh, a mag. Let's say that there's 10 people in your mag. Okay. Um, let's say it's a, a little bit of a mixture of family and friends. SHTF happens and your guys' plan is everybody's going to meet up at your house. Let's say that SHTF lasts for nine months. Have you planned, and I mean fully planned, 
to live every single day in a very close quartered area with 10 more people in a single family dwelling. I don't think there's a lot of people that understand that, uh, you know, especially uh, say for the first little bit, it's dangerous to go outside and, and be frolic frolicking around, you know, it's okay to maybe run, grab some water or uh, do a little bit of stuff, but you're, you're not going to probably sleep outside or, or be outside for too much of an extended period of time. And so that really brings it down to where everybody's going to be very close quartered and it starts getting that thing. Um, who's going to start snoring first? Uh, who's going to chew with their mouth open? Who's going to have a, a weird laugh that gets on somebody's nerves? And then now you don't have a choice, right? Uh, it's one of them things of if both people are confrontational, then it's going to get bad really fast. So does somebody swallow it down and pick their battle? Let something slide. Look, man, you chew with your mouth open, but I don't want to start anything. So you eat, I'll go uh, over here and pull guard duty. Uh, then we'll switch or whatever. Hey, problem solved, right? Um, there, There's different things. So I think kind of the asterisk uh, for this, it, it it's, goes into a lot more. So it's, you know, the exception to the rules, because there's usually an exception to the rule. Um you know, it's kind of that whole thing of uh, you can't just go up and uh, take somebody out for, uh, you know, a reason of uh, they looked at you funny or something like that. But if they come at you and uh, pose a, a huge threat of harm or worse, um, asterisk to the rule, right? Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to bring it into. And, and one of the things that you can do to help with a lot of this stuff is change things up uh keep things fresh uh when you start getting into things that are like monotonous and and uh over and over and over then you really start getting uh on people's nerves you start getting it to where the stress levels start to get higher uh you know things like that start to happening so if you kind of change things up get it to where hey um you know we're in a single family thing and so uh you know for the first day or two uh i'm gonna get the bed uh, and two days, I'll switch over the couch. Two days, you know, and, and it's kind of switch things up so that way it's more fair for everybody. Uh, you know, and, and kind of listen. Make sure you're picking your battles. Stand up for what you 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 know absolutely cannot bend and break at. But if something is to where you can bend a little bit, or something to where you go, you know what? That's important to you. It's not important to me. Let's just let you take this win. You know. Um, I think there's a lot of people that when it comes to SHTF, there's a whole bunch of shiny, um, you know, we're going to go grab the, the uh, guns, gears, gadgets, and things like that. But I think there's a lot of things on the back end that people don't understand and a lot of things that, that's probably not even think about. Uh, and that's kind of why I wanted to bring up the asterisk. It's all that stuff that that's in the background that while you're just kind of sitting there, maybe uh, staring off into space and traffic or... Uh, maybe you're waiting for your husband or wife when they go into the store. Uh, you know, maybe you're just sitting out with your morning coffee on the front porch and, and watching the sunrise. That little bit of time where you just kind of let your mind wander off. And the things that you can begin to think about that you don't normally think is the stuff that really kind of separates. Uh, you know, when you start getting into preparedness, you get it to where you you start out, everything's brand new, you're all excited, the fire's going, everything like that. And then I can see that kind of prepping lull or or people get uh, you know a little burnt out or whatever. Let your mind go and, and just start thinking about all the different things. Um, you know, if you have 10 people and you guys are going to all go into one family house, how many bathrooms do you have? Do you have a way to keep that bathroom sanitary? Uh, you know, or is everybody going to fight over it? Uh, there, there's a whole bunch of different things. Uh, what's the sleeping arrangements? Is everybody okay with the sleeping arrangements? Uh, how are you going to have privacy? You know, people have to change clothes. Um, you know, there's kids probably that's going to be around. You know, there, there's a lot of different things uh, that I, I think people just, they, they skate over it. Eh, we'll just deal with it when the time comes. Mm, 
you know, I mean, I suppose you can, but again, the whole purpose of preparing is prepare. You're doing it beforehand. At least give it some thought, okay? So uh, hopefully you got a little bit of something out of this. Maybe me walk, uh, going around and waving my hands gave you some entertainment or whatnot. Uh, if I did, then, you know, hit the like button down there. Uh, we've been steadily growing, so hopefully the algorithm has uh, maybe uh, ignored me for a little bit. Uh, but real quick, speaking on algorithm, check out some new people. Um, I know it's really easy to get where you get three, four, ten people that you really like to follow. But, uh, you know, the algorithm will not only uh, help you watch those channels, but it will also hinder uh, so, you know, if, if something happens with that algorithm, you might get unadded from them. So, uh, you know, every once in a while, click on somebody new. It kind of resets the algorithm a little bit, opens the door up to some some other things. And there might be people out there that, that you are missing out on because, you know, you get stuck into that. So, you know, as you as you follow people that you really, really like and you enjoy listening to, by all means, keep doing it. Asterisk it's okay to check some other people out. So, uh, but I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you have a blessed day. Stay tuned because there's more information to come. And with that, I want to remind you, remain united because we're all prepping in this together.